And over in the Niagara region, there are 26 new cases. And heading to Niagara now, restaurant owners are furious with a new public health order in the region allowing only members of the same household to dine together. As Nicole Martin reports, a new alliance of restaurants and the mayor of Niagara Falls himself are calling on the region's top doctor to abolish the rule. Industries that are being crushed economically have just lost Christmas. The order issued under Section 22 of the Health Protection and Promotion Act will require restaurant, bar, winery, brewery, and banquet hall staff to collect additional information from customers. If you dine in, you'll only be seated with members of your own household, a caregiver, or an essential social contact. Local public health rules that will be in place until January 1st. To pass such regulations in, in a region like this, by a single person who didn't get any uh, elected bodies involved or behind him or a vote of any kind is just grotesquely irresponsible. Mark Wood owns three restaurants in the Niagara region and his workforce is down 50% along with his revenue. Now I'm in effect going to lose 50% of the 50% of revenue I had from last year and have to lay more people off going into Christmas, assuming that my, my business can survive this. Others have shared videos online of their empty restaurants. Mark Wood will be speaking with public health today and will take part in an emergency meeting tomorrow. His hope is to overturn Section 22. We recognize it's really harmful, you know, difficult for our restaurant industry and we totally feel for them. But we're, of course, dealing with a pandemic. But Dr. Mustafa Hirji, the acting medical officer of health who issued the new order, says evidence guided the decision making. In the last six weeks, we have uh, traced the spread of COVID back to parties at 15 different restaurants. So. It absolutely is occurring when people dine together at a table in a restaurant. Dr. Hirji adds that they aren't seeing a spread of the virus between tables or from staff to the patrons. It's really about the group who congregates together at a table. We need to make sure that everyone in the building, we know their name, their address, their number, the time they walked in, the time they walked out. And that data can possibly be used against us because it's not being tracked in other industries. We know 90% of our restaurants are at risk right now. They represent thousands of people in the hospitality sector. The mayor of Niagara Falls also also believes the new rule to sit with members of your household only is impossible to verify or enforce. Simply, you could work with someone all day, but you cannot go and have a sandwich with them after work. Your kids could be at university, but they can come home and go out for you for dinner. It's silly, it's not reasonable, and the restaurants are extremely concerned that this will be it for them. Which is why Mayor Jim Diodati is asking Dr. Hirji to revoke that part of the order to stay in line with the provincial guidance. But Dr. Hirji told us that the province has been in talks of potentially moving Niagara into the red zone. And he says they're trying to avoid that at all costs because moving from orange to red would lower the total number of people allowed in a restaurant to just 10, like Hamilton and Halton are currently experiencing. Meanwhile, there's a new group called United Hospitality Niagara, and they formed a petition online in hopes of revoking Section 22. And so far, they have nearly 3,000 signatures, Taz. All right, thank you so much, Nicole Martin.